So bottom line of efficiency versus robustness. As you can see, I lean towards robustness based on the kinds of problems I've worked on. Um, but you don't want to do something horribly inefficient. At least understand what efficiency is telling you. In the asset pricing context, usually efficiency, if you care about it, can be bought by having more assets. Uh, and I've seen many cases where efficient things ended up uh, doing, doing bad things to the data. But these are items of judgment. In summary, what you can see, GMM is a great and very flexible tool for the modern style of empirical work. It's not a black box that tells you what to do. It lets you put econometrics in and lets you do the kinds of intuitive matching of theory to data that we do these days. However, let me suggest a research topic. What we're doing in GMM and all of asset pricing is what we call big T, small n econometrics. The presumption is that we have a long time period compared to the number of portfolios. The way we do work is, is we take all the, the thousands of assets and digest them into a few portfolios and then pretend that's all we have. The reality is that we have thousands of assets and not much time. And those assets have strong common correlations. I think the future research in asset pricing will think about big N, small t, and not require the researcher to condense everything into three or four portfolios before we start. But that's a topic for another day. Thank you.